One of the, the things that is important, uh, especially in a science class, is when you first, the first of school year, the kids, particularly in sixth grade, if your middle school starts with sixth grade, is they're coming from multiple elementary schools and they really just don't know each other that well. Some are timid that wouldn't be otherwise and some really don't care and some of them have their groups and they're happy because they're in the class. But doing activities, what I call it community builders, to help bring together teams and the kids to collaborate and come up with um, some solutions is, is one of the things that I love to do the most. And I do it a lot more in the beginning of the school year. And so perhaps with weather, since that's the first unit that I teach because of all the hurricane season and everything. So with weather, you could start the year with um, a breakout box. This is, this is a breakout box. Um, it's kind of like the breakout rooms where they've got to solve a whole bunch of, of, of things on, and they're going to learn through this and unlock the box and break out. So it's kind of like uh, the idea of the breakout rooms, except this is a breakout box. What's nice about this whole kit that you're going to get is there's a big box and a little box in here. So you can have multiple things that they have to unlock. You can also use toolkits. Um, toolboxes, small, anything that has a place for you to put a lock on it. Um, you can make your own breakouts, but the beauty of this is that you're going to get a code that is going to give you access to Breakout EDU, and they already have breakouts already ready. And the nice thing about them is, if, for example, if you choose the weather and climate one, there's a video tutorial that, that takes you step by step it literally says you need to go print these forms, you need to go do this, you need to do this, and it shows you, it gives you everything that you need. Um, and it, so it's very, very easy to use. Um, you've got, in the middle of this, you've got, of course, all of your, you're gonna have to set your locks up, and this right here is, I can't remember what, what they call them. A, a what? A hasp. A hasp. So you're going to put this on here and you can put multiple locks on here. So they've got to do certain things to figure out multiple locks. If you just want to use one box, uh, you could have six different stations that they need to go to in order to break in or break out, if you will. Um, in your, there's a USB drive that uh, some of the online uh, breakout lessons have you have files on here the kids if you have devices that they have to plug in and um, look up some information an invisible marker with a black light so you can do little clues that away this one there's some paper that you can print that you can write a, a special clue or something on there and the red you put over and it shows them the answer you can give them hint cards and I'll wait and tell them about this after you talk about all the different locks. So you have your regular padlock key, your, your key lock. Then you have your small lock with the little numbers and a larger lock with the larger numbers. So if you want to use different size boxes, different size locks. And then you have two locks right here. You have one that has, that's already set with the letters and you have one that's set Another one that is set with letters, sorry, okay? But if you want to change it up, you want to use shapes on one of the locks. And these little discs can be used to slide on and replace the, either the letters or whatever else you're going to use. You have one that has colors, and you have one then that has the numbers. So you can switch it up um, so that they're solving different kinds of, different kinds of puzzles, different kinds of answers. One of the things that I love about using the breakout activities in the classroom with the different activities is that it allows for students with different skills, different strengths, to be able to share their thoughts. Um, you know, like you might have kids that know all the book knowledge, they've got it down, but they can't figure out how to solve the puzzle that's just in front of them. So it just gets kids that have different strengths to be able to communicate mm -hmm. um, and you know, they have to bounce ideas back and forth. It's just a, a great way to get our students more engaged. My students love these, absolutely love them. Um, and it's just fun to see some of your students that struggle 
with some of the content come alive when they get to do the puzzle. Right. So when they break out, you can choose what you want to put in here for them. It could be a simple reward. You can put these four C cards in there, which basically give them um, a writing prompt about what they experienced or learned throughout that. So let me just pull one here. Those, of course, are the ones in the back that aren't. There we go. Design a movie poster for this, this game. Tell the story of the game using emojis. Create one or two new puzzles for this game. And I think that these are important because when I, when I did the breakout box, when I was finished, I didn't have anything to do. Um, this kind of helps give them, give them a start on something um, to have to do uh, once they get done. Um, you will have kids that finish early um, mm -hmm. and some kids that need a lot more time. And it, it is frustrating for your kids that need more time not to be given just a few more minutes. Mm -hmm. So I would recommend having something to do yeah. for those early, those quick groups. Um, you know, and of course, with the hint cards, they're very useful so that somebody just doesn't get overwhelmed and, and get right. stuck. It's just nice to be um, cognizant of which kids are gonna need some help. But also don't, uh, don't jump in too quickly. <laughs> I will also tell you that when you sign up there um, on the web link page that I sent you, I've copied and pasted instructions on how to sign up. So when you sign up and you put your code in, it seemed to take a while for after I hit sign up for it to actually process. So if something isn't working right, just, just do it again. It's just, you know, what is your information? And then it's going to ask you to use the code that um, I'm not sure how they're going to deliver it to you, but it, they'll give you a code that goes with your breakout box. You still will not be able to see any of the content, um, the actual breakouts, until you verify your email. And so I couldn't figure out what was going on and where all the activities were, and it told me to go and verify my email. So that was easy. Once I verified it, boom, it all laid out by topic. And it was so easy, easy to work. Now, it did ask me what I was, you know, basically, what am I looking for? And I said science, 6th, 7th, and 8th grade. Um, I kind of did 8th grade, even though I don't teach it, because I'm like, one day. You can download these um, activities and keep them forever. Um, it's, it's a really good resource. You can also make your own. And they have templates on there. So the breakout box is one of the things that the kids love the most. Um, you could use them once a month or at the end of each unit, or you could use it at the beginning of your unit to get them excited about what's, you know, what they're going to learn about or something. But breakout boxes are great.